एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम एनी एंड आई एम योर टू हेल्प यू विद योर स्पोकन इंग्लिश योर वोकैबुलरी एंड योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एज यू वुड हैव सीन इन द टाइटल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम ऑफ द मेजर डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश एंड द अमेरिकन इंग्लिश बिफोर वी बिगिन ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर वाचिंग माय वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम Please feel free to subscribe and join this amazing community that I have managed to build so far. And for my dear subscribers, I have noticed that you all don't follow me on Instagram. Kya dikkat hai? I post every day on Instagram and try to add a little bit value to your feed every day. So at the end of the video, make sure that you follow me on Instagram so that we remain connected. Without further ado, let's begin. Now we have all wondered how Sherlock, Harry Potter, and James Bond have this amazing British accent, and how is it different from the American accent? The truth is, American English and British English have numerous varieties. For this particular video, I will try to focus on the standard, non-regional English of each one, the kind you hear on BBC and CNN. The main differences between the British English and American English are vocabulary, accent and spelling. Let me give you some example of this. In America they generally say garbage or trash, while in the UK they say rubbish. And this applies metaphorically as well. For example, in America if you hear girl, don't date that man, he is trash. In UK you will hear he is rubbish. Also please for this particular video you will have to excuse my accent. Please forgive me if you feel like I'm doing it too much or over exaggerating it. I am trying to focus and really bring out the differences that's why it might feel as I'm over exaggerating. Other differences in the vocabulary are Americans go on vacation, Britons go on holiday. In US people live in apartments in UK they live in flats If I don't want to take the stairs in America I will use the elevator while in Britain I will use the lift In America the ground floor is actually called the first floor there is no ground floor and in Britain the street level is called the ground floor which is the same for India as well In the US I would walk on the sidewalk In Britain I would walk on the pavement and in India I would walk in the middle of the road. I will try to focus on the general American accent and for the UK it would be received pronunciation. The R sounds. American accent is rhotic which means that the R is always pronounced clearly. British accent is non-rhotic. The R sounds are not pronounced unless followed by a vowel. For example, door and do. Notice that the R sound is not pronounced in the British English. Other examples are farm, farm, color, color, ever, ever. British T is always clearly pronounced. American T slightly becomes a D sound. For example, duty. I'm getting better. We are dating. Notice how in the American accent the T becomes slightly a D sound. Americans pronounce their A's as A, whereas in Britain it becomes more of a U uh sound. For example, half, half, adult. adult and aunt mary mary you must have noticed that in india we do use the a sound instead of the a sound the british and the american spellings are little different because of noah webster who made an effort to reform the spellings in 1700s the differences in the spellings are Mostly but not all words that end in RE in UK end in ER in US. For example, center, theater, meter. 
also some words that end in nce in uk and in nse in us for example license defense offense some words with ou in uk are spelled with a single o in the us for example color favor honor the ending ise becomes ize in us for example organize apologize monetize now these differences might seem surprising to some but other than the accent and a little bit of vocabulary they are both the same and easily understood like we in india we use both the american as well as the british english that was it for today's video tell me in the comments below some of the more differences that i might have missed out guys please make an effort to tell me in the comments below because that is the only way that i know that you guys are watching my video and i should make more of these Anyways give me a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram bye guys i'll see you next time